If you're listening to this, congratulations. It means you've been chosen for a world-saving mission to- Hmm. What was that? Anyways... Bard! We have lots of questions for you! President Montelblock, please tell me you did it. Oh yes, he did! No, 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 no... How in the world do you even pronounce this? Are there even any vowels? Maybe it's Welsh? I remember a great scholar once telling me that W is a vowel in Welsh. Are there any W's? Let me see. I don't see any. Check the back. It goes on to the back. It does. How long is this name? Oh dear. What kind of name has numbers in it? Are we sure this is a name and not a serial number of some kind? Now, let's not be rude. Wait, is that a Greek letter? Yep, that is indeed a capital omega. Also, should you know that due to the origin of my name, all the K's sound like Y's and the B's sound like G's. I see. And where did this name originate? You guys don't even know where I come from? The pantry where you steal our snacks. Strawberry night, put him in the fridge. Meh, I'll just walk there. This is getting out of hand. Shall we move on to the day's oath? Le serment est perdu, et je ne suis pas français. Je suis un lapin qui veut détruire la révolution de Lupin. Du, tout le monde veut avoir du peur de lapin de toujours. Et du seigneur Marou avait peur de moi. Oui, et peur de lui aussi. Je vais avoir le serment la semaine prochaine. Jusque là, je suis avant replacé le serment avec la musique du bar. Wow, I always assumed the oath would be in modern geekish, not... What language was that? Really? Are we sure Forever Bunny is alright? She's fine. She said the oath is still lost and we will replace the oath with a bard's beautiful music. Your translation is slightly off. I did not hear the word beautiful anyway. You simply missed it. I would know, with bardic knowledge and all. Now, shall we move on to my music? Now, I call this meeting to order. First, I would like to announce this week's events. This week, we will be having a party, and everyone is invited to dress up in costume. It will be at 8 o'clock on Friday in room 1118 in the Center for Mad Cosplay. Also, I would like to note, no one is allowed to dress up like the Fallen Alchemist Jubilee this year. It makes it quite difficult to track down the actual Fawn Alchemist when she is inevitably when she inevitably creates a cacophony of chaos with imposters running around. Now, Forever Bunny, would you like to give the first report? Hold on, Forever Bunny. <coughs> We're receiving an urgent message from our neighboring kingdom. <coughs> the Realm of Quidditch would like to extend an invitation to the citizens of Geekdom for two of their events this Saturday, a Triwizard scavenger hunt beginning at 2 o'clock p.m. in the Pine Grove, and their annual Yule Ball at 8 o'clock p.m. in Moss Auditorium. For more information, they request you examine their moving posters or send them an owl with your questions. But can we trust them? As a dual citizen of both Quidditch and Geekdom, I can say with absolute certainty that they can be trusted, and these events are extremely fun! Now, I believe I interrupted you. Forever Bunny, what did you have to say? Lots of things. The Shadow Prince has recruited the fridge. It now answers to him alone. We have lost control. Abort the mission. Message received. Burn the evidence. Doing it right now. Please, put that fire out! There will be no burning evidence in the council chamber. <gasps> guys! Guys! I just had a great idea! We should have Geekdom pick the Bard's new name. I don't need a new name. Oh, that's a great idea, Journey! We could post a survey on the Book of Faces. I'll have it out by next week. <coughs> Speaking of elders and geekdom, Strawberry Knight and I have chosen our successors. Achoo! We will do an official announcement of our choices at the Festival of Extravagant Nana... <coughs> Nan... <coughs> Nanigans. In the meantime, <coughs> there will be silently peering through the window and learning our ways so that None will notice our <coughs> passing. Really? Let me see. Wait, do I see the tiny- No, no they, they do not. not. The fridge sent me back. Well, that's rude. I know, right? Dang it, we already burned the evidence, too. Shadow Prince, you are interrupting. If you continue to interrupt your fellow- If you continue to interrupt your fellow council members, I will be forced to send you to the fridge.
but I just came from there. Strawberry Knight, do you have anything to report? There was a riot last week. I Why do you know about it? it? Yeah, apparently there's a mysterious force that keeps the masses distracted from our conspiracy, and it broke last week. This force, which is called the Internet, is so essential to the geekdom lifestyle that when it disappeared, there were riots in the streets. Oh my! Do you know why this internet suddenly broke? We have no proof, but we are currently blaming the Leprechaun Rebellion or Puffin Lord. Both sound like likely candidates. Ooh! Ooh! Madam Lady Dr. President! Madam Lady Dr. President! Yes, Shadow Prince? Uh, you don't actually have to raise your hand. I have a report! All right, what is it? The masses have chosen the new royal crest. The winner was the one with the dragon on it. We will be outfitting our royal army with it soon. This year, the color of the uniform will be purple. Also, apparently the name Forever Bunny, World's Worst Mother, Inheritor of the Brothel, and Koga Spirit, and Advisor to the, Latin, to the Madam Lady Doctor President of Geekdom, is too long of a title to put on the back of one of the uniforms. I understand the struggle. My name is too long as well. Yeah, but at least mine is pronounceable. Mine's too? Many of those letters are silent. Only the numbers 1, 6, 9 correspond to animal noises. Dare I ask how the other numbers are pronounced? Didn't you learn how to read in school? When it comes to the numbers 4 and 2, they sit around with nothing to do, but for the numbers 5 and 3, 5 is a flower, the other is a tree. 3 by voice, but 9 makes a sound. 1 sounds like a gopher underground. 7 is an airplane. 6 is a bat. 8 is a goose, and 0 is a cat. C is, of course, do nothing but wave while F sound from below a grave. G should follow letter B, simply followed by slapping knee. K, R, and V are silent, of course. Right in the room, you'll find a horse. Squiggles and wiggles, nonverbal clues. Simply find a red blue. Please, Forever Bunny, please close for us in a language we can actually understand. All this rhyming is breaking strawberry night again. <laughs> Live long and prosper, in a land of myth and a time of dragons. Sing with me a song of mostly void and partially stars, where a dream is a, a wish your heart makes. But all that changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Do or do not fly with your dimensional scissors, you fools, because they are also a gun. Believe in the me who believes in you, whether you have a ship in our harbor now, whether you're building your ship or recovering from shipwreck. You are a pirate. May the force be ever in your favor, so that you may catch them all, although the family business could be dangerous. Hey, forever, bunny. Why don't I say the ending anymore? No!